Hey guys, so today I have a tutorial for this look right here. It's a very deep, green, sparkly, smoky eye, and this tutorial is a little bit different because I used as much ColourPop as I possibly could. I used everything ColourPop, except for the makeup products that I don't have that ColourPop doesn't have, like foundation, concealer, yada, yada, yada. So I just wanted to come up with something kind of fun and different, but I still wanted it to be like really deep and glamorous and kind of edgy. I like this because from a far it just looks like a standard smoky eye but then you get up close and you're like what are those green shimmers are those gold shimmers or is that a green wing so it makes it a little bit more different also this makes brown eyes pop and hazel eyes pop and I'm sure if you have green eyes this will make your eyes pop but I just thought it was really fun something a little bit different I don't do a lot of green looks on my channel at all and I want to use some ColourPop eyeshadows that I have never used before um, the colors that I have on my eyes Shameless and Hammered are colors that I have had since I first purchased ColourPop over a year ago. So that tells you the longevity of the eyeshadows. They're still just as creamy, just as smooth as when I first got them, which is awesome. But I'd never used them in a tutorial before, and I've had them for over a year. So it was long overdue. Plus, I sh saw my friend Shannon Shortcake. I'll link her tutorials down below. She's amazing. If you don't go follow her, go follow her. She's amazing, and she does a ton of ColourPop videos and a ton of affordable makeup videos. Anyways, I saw her do a, like, 100% ColourPop video and so I really wanted to do one and I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to do a ColourPop tutorial so yeah this is what we're doing is a ColourPop tutorial how many times can I say that so anyways you guys if you want to see how I got this sparkly deep green smoky eye then just keep watching okay so first we're gonna start by priming our skin I'm gonna use this NYX color correcting liquid and I have mine in the shade yellow and I'm just going to smooth that all over my skin Next, I'm going to take the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 1 and mix it with my white foundation mixer because we know this shade is way too dark for me normally. And then I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge and blend that all over my skin. Next, I'm going to take this NYX HD concealer in the shade 4 and then this Catrice Full Coverage concealer in the shade 01 and, or in the shade Porcelain. And I'm just going to highlight and conceal all over my face and again, blend that in with my Real Technique sponge. and make the most attractive face ever. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my NYX contour palette and I'm gonna mix the banana E shade and the kind of cream shade to set my eyes. And then of course, going to set my face with my NYX set it and don't fret it powder. Then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with this black brow pencil from ColourPop, of course. This is super, super pigmented and really, really creamy. I wish it was a little bit waxy, but I do like it, but I don't like the applicator. I don't like how flat the little thing is. Anyways, then I'm just going to set my brows down with this Wet n Wild mascara or brow mascara. Then let's move on to eyes. And this is smashed by ColourPop. Thankfully, you can just kind of squish them back in if they break. It's one of my favorite shades and I'm just going to use that as a transition color. Then once we have that laid down, I'm going to take this amazing shade called Shameless, Shameless, Shameless. It's like a black with a ton of green and blue glitters and I'm going to pack that all over my lid. This doesn't have to be perfect because we go back and fix it, but you just really want to cover your entire lid to get into those little areas. I will just use a tiny little pencil brush. Then I'm going in with the shade Hammered. Again, an amazing color. It's kind of like an olive-y, khaki, shimmery gold green. And I'm going to use this in the crease. Normally you wouldn't do like shimmers in the crease, but I wanted to go for an all shimmery, smoky eye. <clears throat> and I thought these two colors kind of blended really weird together, which I really liked. But I'm just going to blend that all over my crease and I'm using sweeping and patting motions just to try to get as much pigment as possible. Then I'm just going back in with Shameless and making it a little bit more opaque. Now I'm going to take the shade Get Lucky. It's just a really pretty kind of cool toned gold. And I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corners. And I'm just using one of these little sponge tip applicators because I find that it works the best for highlighting your inner corners, especially with ColourPop shades. Then 
then I'm going back in with hammered and I'm going to sweep this on my lower lash line and kind of mesh it with the gold that we put on our inner corner and I'm going to go back and kind of drag this gold farther in my lower lash line so right here I'm just dragging the gold so it kind of meshes with the color hammered and just makes a beautiful mixture now I'm going to take this cream gel liner in Workout. This is just a really pretty forest green, and I'm going to give myself a big, thick wing of liner on both eyes, obviously. They were a little uneven, but that's okay. Now I'm just going back and stamping more of that hammered shade right on top of the wing so that the eyeshadow goes as far as the wing goes. Now I'm just adding more Shameless. This look is a lot of going back and forth with colors just to make them as sparkly and as opaque as possible. Then this is the gel pencil liner again in the same shade workout and I'm just going to tight line and I'm going to smudge this a little bit on my lower lash line. Here I'm just sweeping off any excess fallout, I just use my highlighting brush, I just find that it works best to get rid of fallout, and then we're gonna go in and bronze, and I'm using the Makeup Geek, um, the Makeup Geek Warm Porcelain Contour. Um, I don't like ColourPop bronzers, so I got rid of mine a really long time ago, I just don't like creamy bronzers usually. For blush, I'm going to take this blush and birthday suit, it's a gorgeous kind of opalescent pink almost it's super super pretty but still really wearable especially for somebody that doesn't like pink blush like I do and I'm just going to kind of stamp this on with a makeup geek face buffer brush now for highlight you guys know I love my ColourPop highlights this is still the show it's a really pretty kind of white gold look at that highlight and I'm just going to highlight all over my face And then I did apply some fake lashes. These are our, our Dell Studio FX Wispies. And then I am applying the new ColourPop Matte X Lippy Stick, and this is in the shade Pillow Talk. You guys, I love the Matte X formula. So comfortable, feels like nothing on your lips. I think it's my favorite ColourPop formula thus far. Maybe, probably. And that completes this look. I actually love how it turned out. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do, but I think it's so fun, so unique, so dark and dramatic, but still fun and colorful. I just love it. So if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!